Hello everyone. Uh, today uh, we will see a survival, a parametric survival analysis uh, from para parametric survival analysis. We will see Weibull, Gumurtz, and exponential survival analysis. So stay with us. So we will use the Stata data set. So this is an example data set. You can we can use the cancer data and. Uh, uh, this is a cancer data. Let me introduce you about the data. Uh, yeah, this is the time uh, we, we have uh, 48 individuals and uh, individuals with cancer. So this is a duration time. This is event. One and zero. One is died. Zero is censored. This is an independent variable, which is drug, having three category. Uh, this is independent variable which is continuous and this is survival set so uh, if you see the drug uh, this is uh, having three category one is placebo two is statement one three is statement two and if you take also age it is a continuous variable mm. so it's continuous variable so we do have two independent variable drug and age so there is an event so now we can make the uh, parametric survival analysis the first parametric survival analysis we will analysis let us see uh, about we will analysis so uh, now uh, sct cox is for cox regression analysis so for parametric we will use sct regression or survival regression so sct Per week, we, we, we will use command a trick. A trick, so we can insert the uh, independent variable drag. So uh, we, we will add indicator i. So um, i drag, comma, then we can specify the distribution. So ds, st, dist. So uh, now the distribution is wavel distribution so w e i b u l l l wavel so we can run this one so so this is wavel regression this is drug uh, the first category placebo is uh, constant so this is by the way this is uh, uh, by variable we will regression since uh, we used only drug this is by variable we will regression so zero uh, interpretation is similar to the cox regression analysis so this is 0 0.02 0 point significant variable so we can uh, interpret as uh, 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 we, we can 1 minus 0 0.2 0 0.2 so uh, 78 so uh, the hazard of days the hazard of days is decreased by 78 percent in uh, those individuals who took uh, drug two who took drug two uh, at a given time period as compared to uh, their counterparts or, or who take the placebo so 0 0.09 so this is uh, uh, we can 91 percent uh, so we can say that individuals with uh, drug 3 are uh, about 91% uh, 91% uh, less likely to die at any given time period as compared to that of who take placebo take plus so we can interpret just like this so uh, the other is uh, this is uh, wavelength regression uh, Weiser. So, having this concept, mm, now we will uh, see multivariable uh, wavelet regression. So, to make multivariable wavelet regression, so we can make uh, another uh, variable h. So, two and more than two is makes multivariable. So, this is wavelet regression. So, we can say this is multivariable wavelet regression. We can uh, we use so h also. Uh, significant and also treatment group also 
significant so this is analyzed for wavebull parametric wavebull regression so the second one is that gurmutu's regression so let me show you the gurmutu's regression acetric eye drug distribution we can change it wavebull regression with gurmutu's regression so gum gurmutu's so uh, now yeah we have to say just like this so drug to three so similar result as me this is also significant so uh, now about 21 21 means up to about 89 so uh, minimal difference this is about 93 uh, percent are less likely today so uh, as the interpretation is similar with gormutus or cox regression so you can do uh, so for multi variable of gormutus you can add h you can add h so this is multi variable parametric gormutus regression this is h also significant similar similarly so now we, we can see the third type of regression which is known as uh, exponential uh, regression to see the exponential regression we can write acetric i drug distribution then we can change into exponential Exp we can write xp or we can write in long to in good long form expon exponential so this is a bivariable parametric exponential regression so this is 0 0.7 0 0.16 is the hazard ratio so this is also significant this is also uh, significant uh, then if you want to do multivariable exponential regression you can add h so so you can write just like this 0 0.3 is h is 1 almost similar with uh, so uh, this is uh, age is positively related with this as age increases this also increases and treatment 2 and treatment 3 is uh, inversely related with this uh, the rate of this so uh, so we can uh, so now we have seen the three types of uh, analysis that is uh, we will parametric analysis that is we will regression analysis we will regression uh, we will regression analysis by variable and multi variable we will to the regression analysis by variable and multi variable and exponential regression analysis like by variable and multi variable uh, we have seen this one in the next video uh, we will see how uh, we will see how uh, which to co comparison between wavel uh, exponential and uh, uh, and cox regression which uh, model is uh, best as compared to uh, model selection criteria so in the next video we will see uh, uh, which model is best for our data set uh, so we will see uh, by this last topic so don't forget to subscribe like and comment this uh, uh, video or analysis to get in order to get the next videos and analysis so uh, have a nice time bye